Hello, welcome to our semiconductor program. I'm Vincent Chan. In this lecture, I'm going to teach you the introduction of analog amplifiers, including the very important concept around the voltage transfer characteristic and the small signal operation. Let's start with the circuit symbol of an amplifier. The triangle represents an amplifier. The left-hand side is the input voltage Vi, and the output side is the voltage output voltage Vo. So amplifier is an active, active circuit system, which you need to supply the circuit system with a voltage. So two supplies. On the top is the positive power supply. The supply voltage is V positive. So V positive represents the voltage difference between the positive supply terminal, which is connecting to the interface between the supply and the triangle, and the ground. So in the same way, the negative supply voltage, V negative, is the supply voltage, is the voltage difference between the negative supply terminal and the ground. So this brings you a very important concept, the concept of common ground. So where is the ground? Where is the reference zero voltage terminal? So it's the common terminal connecting the cathode of the positive supply and the anode of the negative supply. So this is a very, very important point. So again, the common ground is the common terminal. The ground is the common terminal connecting the positive supply and the negative supply. So on the left-hand side is the simplify symbol which take out the ground signal. Let's start with the DC, the DC input voltage. So the this, this symbol to represent the DC component is the capital variable V with a capital subscript I. All right, so capital V and capital subsequent representing the DC component. So the DC input will create, will generate a DC output voltage VOQ. The next signal, the next symbol is the symbol for an AC input voltage. So lowercase v and lowercase subscript. subscript. So lowercase v and lowercase subscript is the AC signal. So when you have the AC like this, input from the left-hand side of the amplifier input, you will generate, you will create an AC output signal on the right-hand side. Let's see this. So you have the AC input, then you, have, you will create the AC output. Again, it's the lowercase v and the lowercase subscript. So both components together equals the so-called total instantaneous. So the total instantaneous voltage equals DC component plus the AC signal. So uh, watch carefully. So how to represent a total instantaneous voltage, input voltage, is the lowercase v, lowercase variable, with a capital subscript, okay, in the same way for the VO, is also the lowercase v, uh, and the subscript uh, is the capital subscript. Voltage transfer characteristic. Voltage transfer characteristic. The vertical axis represents the large signal of voltage, total instantaneous. So the horizontal represents the total instantaneous input 
voltage. So usually, the VTC, the voltage transfer curve, goes like this. You start with the high voltage level. When you increase VI, it gradually goes down and then go into another low level. We often call this as a saturation region. So in the large signal voltage transfer curve, we have the two we call saturation voltage. The high level is the output saturation voltage, the high level V capital M. And then the lower saturation voltage is the V lowercase m. So two saturation voltages, amplifier. So let's focus on the amplifier. So when you, when the circuit try to serve as an amplifier, then we need an operating point. There are a lot of uh, terminology. I hope you can catch up. So we need a, a point called the operating point. And we hope the operating point is not on either side of the curve, it's in the middle, all right? So operating point, let's put the operating point in the middle. So then the corresponding output voltage is the DC output voltage, VOQ. And also the corresponding input voltage is the DC input voltage, VIQ. And then let's draw two time axes. The one going downward, the T, corresponds to the VI. The horizontal T corresponds to the VO. And then on the DC component, let's superimpose an AC signal. Okay? On the DC component, let's superimpose an AC signal. So when the AC signal, VI goes from low to high, and then the corresponding, the associating uh, operating point start to oscillate, right? So it goes from orange to purple. And then the associating, the output signal will be generated, okay? So when you, when the VI goes from high to low, and then what? Then what? Then the point goes from purple back to the orange. And then it creates the output signal variation from low to high. So again, when VI goes up and down, like this, and then VO goes down and up again. And then when VI goes up and down the third time, when VO and VO will be down and up. And when VI goes up, when VO goes down, okay? So small signal amplification. And then we can draw a triangle, okay? A triangle, the red one. So the slope represent what? The slope of, of the triangle, of the triangle on this side, represent what? Represent two things. Number one, the slope is negative. So, and then number two, the magnitude of the slope represent what? represent the amplitude ratio between output signal and the input signal. And the amplitude ratio, the VO over VI, output over input, is called voltage gain. And it's defined under small signal operation. So it's called small signal voltage gain. All right? So, and then I said this gain is positive or negative. What's the polarity of the slope? Negative, right? So what negative, the negative sign, the minus sign stands for? What's the meaning of the negative sign? You may want to pause and write this down. It means out of phase. Means out of phase. Means the relationship between the output signal and the input signal is out of phase. Means 180 degrees phase difference. 
up, down, up, down, and the VO will be down, up, down, up, out of phase. Voltage gain in decibel. There are two ways to express the data of the gain. One is the linear scale, but most often used is the, the decibel scale. So the dB, the decibel, the voltage gain in decibel is defined as 20 log with the base of 10 and magnitude of the voltage gain. Let me give you uh, several examples. What about the linear, in the, on, in the on the linear scale, if the voltage gain is one, and on the log scale, then it's zero decibel. If in the linear scale, if it's the gain is 100, and then in the log scale is 40 decibel. If 10 to the fourth power in the linear scale, in the log scale is 80 decibel, 80 decibel. So we are approaching to the end of this lecture, the key concept. Number one, listen carefully. The voltage transfer characteristic is large signal or small signal. It's a large signal. It's a wide range. It's a large signal transfer, transfer characteristic. Number two, when a circuit surfaces an amplifier, we hope the operating point, it must be operated, the circuit has to be operated within what region? Not the saturation region, but what region? The linear region, the one in the middle. Why small signal? Because you can do this, right? When you do this, if you do like this, and then the peak part will be cut off. But if you do like this, still large, but didn't touch, the saturation region, because this is not a total straight line. It's like this, right? There's a curve, curve. So it means the distortion. So why small signal? So only within the small signal operation, the curve in the middle can be treated around the operating point, can be treated as, can be approximated as a straight line. And the slope of the straight line is defined as the gain. And it must be constrained under a small signal operation. So it's called small signal voltage gain. I hope you learned something through this lecture. Thank you for watching.